this is not a beautiful hiking video. It's more about heat, pain, hunger, mountains, lakes, sweat, dirt, freedom and friendship. Actually, it's about walking a long distance for a long time. In 2016, I decided to pack everything I need into a backpack, take a plane from Vienna to California and start my biggest adventure so far, hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. The PCT is a long distance trail from the Mexican to the Canadian border, a total length of 2,650 miles or over 4,200 kilometers. For Europeans, that's like starting a walk in Lisbon and walk through Portugal, Spain, France, Italy, Slovenia, Croatia, Serbia and Bulgaria into Turkey and reach Istanbul without hitting the full distance of the PCT. Many people ask me, why? I started my hike end of April with high ambitions. My goal was to walk through California, Oregon and Washington in less than 5 months. But just after 4 days my body tried to tell me to stop. The desert in Southern California was brutal and I had to take a break already. I had next to zero hiking experience and I started too fast. But I couldn't give up yet. One reason that kept me going were the people I met on trail. <laughs> people with names like Dude Man, Danger Noodle, Shepherd and Pepe Le Pew. I got called Chopper. Why Chopper? Well, because I'm Austrian and some people thought I sound like a fellow countryman. Get to the chopper! This is so funny, man. Simple names to remember, because life on trail is simple. Walk, eat, sleep, repeat. So I kept going. Days and weeks went by as my legs got stronger. But blisters, hunger and thirst were my daily companions. Carrying six days worth of food and sometimes six to seven liters of water in my backpack are heavy. Who would have thought? Hitchhiking into town every couple of days is the only option for food resupply. Yep, that's slowing down. No, it's not. It's but despite all the struggles, I realized that this is where I want to be. Out in the wild. Belly to belly, face to face. Those eyes you take me to the start. Sweetheart, sweetheart. landscape changed and so did I. My mental power surpassed my thoughts and reaching the Sierras was like going into Wonderland. Mountain lakes to dip in. Amazing sceneries after every pass and water sources everywhere felt great. Ghost on marble steps into the rain. Time to go pee. Make the weight of the world feel like nothing. Oh, fuck! Snow on the trail can be tough to deal with, but it's hard not to be happy when glissading down a slope after a long and energy sapping way up.
right down. Hiking the PCT has the same total elevation gain as climbing the Mount Everest 17 times from sea level. No wonder I lost about 10 to 15 kilograms in the first weeks of my hike while eating as much and as calorie intense as possible. My diet mostly consisted of tortillas, salami, ramen and lots of chocolate bars. Most of the time dipped into chocolate cream. A teenage girl's dream. <laughs> In Northern California, reality hit me. I was on trail for almost three months and I still haven't crossed the state border yet. Scorching sun and going up and down mountain ranges for weeks and I'm back at the question, is this really worth it? At the midpoint, I wasn't sure. Canada, 1,325 miles away. I was happy to come that far, but for every step I took to this point, I had to do another one, but I kept going, step by step, mile by mile. Coming into Oregon was a huge milestone. I often heard that a through hike is more of a mental challenge than a physical one, and this is very much true. New state, new energy. Oregon was great and enjoyable. I felt much better and 35 mile days were no problem. I reached Washington, and soon Washington did what it's known for. But I was too close to give up. I wanted to finish what I started. Putting cold and wet socks on in the morning isn't a fun thing to do, but sometimes a necessity. One more time, the kind people that support hikers, the trail angels, saved me. They give rides in their trucks, shelter, offer a drink or a sandwich. Kindness like that can turn a miserable day into a good one. Eventually, the weather cleared up and Washington offered great last days on the train. Oh my god, man. Look at that. After 135 days in the wilderness, I reached the Canadian border. Very happy because I had done something special, but the odds weren't always in my favor. On the other hand, I was kind of sad. My new life and newfound freedom ended at that point. But that's alright, because there are many other adventures out there. Mexico and Canada, 4200 Kilometer. Woo!